Hi there, welcome back to my channel English with Mahunale. Today I'm here to talk about uh, previous Cadet Coaching, Cadet College Question Solution 2019. So before discussing my topics, I would like to tell you something. I uh, deeply apologize uh, for some mistakes I did in my previous uh, video. Uh, uh, it was about rearranging and it was about uh, finding the mistakes in the uh, paragraph. So, such as, uh, first one, hashed chickens don't count before they are ill. So, correct one would be, uh, don't count your chickens before they are hashed. Don't count your chickens before they are hashed. Next one, uh, neither has follows he who catches two. It would be he who follows two hairs catches neither. Again, he who follows two hairs catches neither. So, I wrote down them over there. So, you can see. So, finding uh, in finding uh, uh, mistakes, I forgot to mention about commemorate. See the spelling C O M E M O R A T, but correct spelling would be commemorate C O M M E M O R A T. So be careful, commemorate and has chickens don't count before they are ill. Right on would be don't count your chickens before they are hashed. But mistakenly, I delivered, I told you that your chickens don't count before they are hashed. It was my mistake. Next one, neither has follows he who catches two. Correct on would be he who follows two has catches neither. But it was a slip of my tongue or it was a slip of the tongue. He who catches two has follows neither but it would be he who follows two hairs catches neither okay now we can talk about uh, previous cat uh, college uh, question solutions it is about uh, 2019 okay today i'm here to talk about english 2019 uh, previous question uh, previous carrot college question solution so, see the first one, number three. Number three, rewrite the following passage with appropriate prepositions, replacing the wrong ones. If we find any uh, wrong uh, prepositions we have to uh, make it correct replacing the correct ones okay my village is dear for me it would be my village is dear to me next one its name is Ghagot Para it's named from the river Ghagot but it would be it's named after the river Ghagot next one it's situated on Gaibanda Shadarupojara in Gaibanda district but it should be it's situated at Gaibanda Shodurupojila in Gaibanda district. This is a village for many educated people, but it should be this is a village of many educated people of about 100% among the children are enrolled in primary schools. It would be about 100% uh, of the children are enrolled in primary schools. Okay, of. Next one, match all the words in column A with all the words from column B as the example given. See, on the left hand side, there are some units, there are some measurements and on the right hand side, there are some nouns. So, we have to match them. Okay, so uh, on the left hand side, we can see some group of something. The units or the measures indicate some, uh, a group of something, a group of people, a group of animals, etc. Okay. First one, I school up. I school up means actually group of sea animal, a gang of group of somebody, something, somebody. 
a group of people then a team of same thing a fleet of it is about a group of uh, uh, sheep a group of boat a group of voyage etc okay then a bunch of a bunch of it could be grapes it could be flowers then a herd of it could be a herd of a uh, herd of uh, elef elephants herd of cattle herd of cows etc a flock of birds a flock of uh, uh, goats sheep etc a choir c h o i r sound will be choir a choir means a group of singers okay so a troop of it indicates actually group of soldiers then a group of you know what do you mean a group or, or what's the meaning of a group of then a swarm of a swarm means a group of insects okay now we can get started a school of it should be fish then a gang of it should be robbers robbers then a team of it should be players then a fleet of ships then a bunch of grapes then a herd of uh, cattle then um, a flock of cattle sorry a flock of birds then a choir of singers then a troop of soldiers a group of uh, students then a swarm of insects again a school of fish a gang of robbers a team of players a fleet of uh, ships a bunch of uh, grapes a flock of uh, flock of birds then a choir of singers a troop of soldiers a group of students then a swarm of soldiers sorry a swarm of insects many people will think a uh, school of students but actually here a school doesn't mean our educational institute here a school means a group of sea animal okay now we can go to the next part section 5 finish each of the following sentences in such a way that it means exactly the same as printed before it so uh, there are some sentences written here and we have to tell them in different ways but their meaning shouldn't be changed such as my brother's refusal to even discuss the matter really upset me so we have to start this way see there is a clue what really upset me is my brother's refusal to even discuss the matter so again what really upset me is my brother refusal to even discuss the matter next one the water was so cold that i couldn't swim in it so the water was too cold to swim in it or we can use the water was too cold for me to swim in it we can include me or we can exclude me okay the water was too cold to swim in it or the water was too cold for me to swim in it next one i like traveling by train more than going by air we have to use i would rather so i would rather uh, travel by train than go by air when we use would rather we use v1 form of the verb and we don't use more so again i would rather travel by train than go by air next one don't touch the plate it's hot said the waiter the waiter want not to touch the hot plate so again the waiter want me not to touch the hot plate the waiter want me not to touch the hot plate so there's room for five passengers in our car so we have to start our car is big so our car is big enough for five passengers in a sorry our car is big enough for five passengers or we can or we could have written this way our car is big enough to have five passengers okay we can use uh, our car is big enough to have five passengers or to accommodate to for to accommodate five passengers etc okay so again our car is big enough 
for five passengers or we could have told our car is big enough to have five passengers or our car is big enough to accommodate five passengers okay we can go to the next one change the form of the word within the bracket the uk isn't the uk isn't dash country so actually we have to uh, use correct form we have to change the partial speech according to our mood according to our tense okay according to our sentence so uh, the uk isn't uh, dash country it should be isn't a tropical country why tropics actually is a noun so we have to use uh, adjective form before a noun country is already noun so we cannot say two nouns side by side so we have to make tropics into tropical so the uk isn't tropical country but for the last 10 years uk citizens and vi visitors have had the dash of experiencing a real rainforest see so before the excite there is a da so we cannot use excited or excite we have to use noun form of excite so we know the noun form of excite is excitement so have had the excitement of experiencing a real rainforest without damaging natural environment we know after uh, preposition we have to use noun form of verb so damage noun form is uh, damaging okay sometimes damage also could be a noun but here we have to use damaging natural environment already natural is adjective so after the adjective we can't use another adjective we have to make noun form so natural environment it has certainly unfolded a new horizon for them because it is have has the uses of has so we have to make present perfect tense we have to make v3 form of unfold past participle form of the verb unfold unfolded so it has certainly unfolded a new horizon for them now we can uh, i can uh, review or we, i can uh, recite uh, i can retell the answer of six again the uk is not a tropical country but for the last 10 years uk citizens and visitors have had the uh, excite excitement of experiencing a real rainforest without damaging natural environment it has certainly unfolded a new horizon for them next one number seven choose choose one of the choose one word from each of the 10 pairs of words to fit the appropriate sentences below you see there are some phrases some pairs of phrases or words we have to choose either one appropriate one to fill in the blanks so let me read aloud the phrases at first notorious famous notorious means known for bad thing and famous known for good thing sensible and sensitive sensitive it is about reaction about touch and sensible means actually uh, uh, understandable logical reasonable this way okay affect is a verb and effect is the noun they are related they are related to each other affect is a verb and effect is a noun beside and besides both are prepositions but uh, suppose i am sitting beside her and besides besides means actually in addition to this besides means in in addition to then eminent eminent means famous okay extraordinary this eminent means uh, happening soon uh, okay that is going to happen imminent both are actually adjective next one it's coma okay coma not coma coma and this one comma okay so uh, coma coma and comma this coma actually it indicates illness okay illness sickness and it is the punctuation comma then drought d r o u g s t it is the weather drought uh, without uh, without rain okay having no rain okay having no water so drought 
it is draft d r a u g s t here draft mean actually uh, cool air okay a uh, blow of cool air okay then stationary this is stationary this is stationary they have got same sound okay they have got same sound but their spelling and meaning are different okay so uh, see station this first stationary means actually uh, like uh, book pen pencil etc okay uh, and this stationary means actually not permanent that means um, uh, movable okay not permanent this stationary next one human we know human and human it is the adjective form of human so human means it could be kind it could be good behavior of a human okay now comprehensive comprehensive means actually comprehensive or understandable both are adjective but comprehensive means actually full complete or understandable means actually comprehensible uh, that could be understood okay it is now next one a could you uh, get me some dash from the bookshop i need some pencils a red pen and writing paper so we can use could you get me some stationery from the bookshop be careful stationery all time uncountable so you can we can make it plural don't stationeries it is stationery okay so could you get me some stationery from the bookshop first stationery next one last summer there was a long drawn dash it caused a huge crop failure it is about weather so it could be drought d r o u g h t so last summer there was a long drawn drought it caused a huge crop failure next one i was impressed with his dash treatment of the animals he clearly loves them it could be humane okay i was impressed with his humane treatment of the animals he clearly loves them he was lucky enough to have been saved from dash danger for which he prayed to the almighty with profound gratitude he was lucky enough to have been saved from imminent danger second imminent okay imminent means happening soon going to happen in bangla is called uh, ashonno so he was lucky enough to have been saved from imminent danger this imminent second on imminent danger for which he prayed to the almighty with profound gratitude we know we know profound means many and gratitude means we know famous movie director mr amjad hussein mr amjad hussein has died recently before death he was in a coma c o m a coma okay first coma then cold weather doesn't really dash tomal he is from tetuli after all so cold weather doesn't really affect this affect a f f e c t affect okay so verb affect tomal he is from tetuli after all if you have dash skin if you have sensitive skin rubber gloves when you wash up here wash up means washing uh, dishes uh, utensils plates etc okay so if you have sensitive skin wear rubber gloves when you wash up okay it is not sensible sensitive next one keeping a sharp dagger is dash for his criminal record keeping a sharp dagger is notorious for his criminal record then so besides stump collecting what else do you do in your spare time it will be this besides not beside besides okay so besides stump collecting what else do you do in your spare time is besides means in addition to also it's quite dash why shilpi doesn't get on with her boss get on means actually get along with to have a relationship to have a good relationship okay so it's quite understandable understandable why shilpi doesn't get on with her boss he is always criticizing her work he is always criticizing her work okay so it's quite understandable why shilpi doesn't get on with her boss he is always criticizing her work we can go to the next one number 8 
Number 8. After all the sentences of the following passage are jumbled, read them carefully and turn it into a meaningful passage. So, first one, re, uh, ing verb plus linking verb plus complement. We have to follow this structure and we have to make sentence according to the instruction in bracket. Use this structure to make a sentence. So, ing means actually we have to use gerund like walking, going, watching, uh, having, okay, taking, etc. Then linking verb. Linking verb actually means some verbs, they are linking verbs. Suppose be, become, see, uh, not see, my mistake, seem, taste, okay, remain, etc. So, I will talk about linking verb later in details. Then complement. Actually, complement means actually praising word. It could be adjective, it could be noun, okay. So, complement means actually adjective or noun. So, we have to use gerund, then uh, any linking verb, it could be be verb, then adjective. Suppose, walking is good for health. Walking is good for health. So, linking verb can be be verb, become, seem, taste, uh, remain, etc. Dash, don't make a noise. So, we have to use exclamatory word. Suppose, hush, s u s s hush, don't make a noise, okay hush, don't make a noise. Then how adjective, subject, verb? We have actually it is a structure of uh, exclamatory sentence. So, we have to make a, make a make an exclamatory sentence. Suppose, how beautiful uh, she is. Then exclamatory sign. How beautiful she is. Then exclamatory sign. Okay. So, how beautiful she is, then exclamatory sign. Then, um, you have written a letter, you have written a letter. So, use a contraction in the sentence. Contraction means short form. Suppose you have written a letter, it should be you written a letter, you, then apostrophe, then B, short form. You have, you, okay, we have learned, you written a letter. Then dash, you have done an excellent job. Bravo, you have done an excellent job or we can use congratulations. Okay, you have done an excellent job. Okay, uh, we can use uh, uh, different answers. We can use different uh, alternative answers here. But I am uh, telling you the answers as an example. Suppose we can use congratulations, bravo, etc. Okay. And D, you have written a letter, short form would be you've written a letter, you, then apostrophe, then B, okay, be careful. Okay, guys, before finishing my class, I would like to tell you something about linking verbs. There are some students, they could feel some difficulties about linking verbs. I'm here to talk about linking verbs. Actually, linking verbs could be be, become, sound, feel, taste, smell, seem then look, appear, remain, etc. So, linking verbs are verbs that could uh, connect the subject with an adjective or with a noun, okay. So, linking verbs actually connects, uh, connect the subject uh, with the adjective or with the noun. See some examples. She is happy. See, after, actually, is is the form of B. So, we know uh, B has got some forms. Suppose, uh, am, is, a, was, a, then will be, shall be, could be, have been, you know. So, we can use any form of be. She is happy. See, after this, we are using adjective. So, here, adge here happy actually complement. Is, is the linking verb and she is a subject. So, again, it is good for health. So, is, is a long linking verb, good complement. Okay, for a health, it is, it is extension. They seem tired. See, after seem, we use tired. Here, tired adjective, but it is used as a complement. Okay, so after those verbs, after linking verbs, uh, we use adjective or we can use any noun. Suppose they are players. See, after are, we are using players, noun. So, guys, I hope 
you got what's called uh, linking verbs so linking verbs are verbs uh, that can connect the subject with uh, with the adjectives or with the nouns okay and we have learned complement complement actually uh, is an adjective or it could be a noun okay so guys it is the wall for the time being today if you have got any problem or any questions related to our video please feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try my best to reply to it as soon as possible and by the way if you want my uh, one to one tutoring service uh, there will be my mobile number mentioned in the description box you can make a call or you can send me a message okay and uh, again i apologize for my previous mistakes uh, that i made in the previous video uh, i will try my best i will uh, be conscious i will be so much conscious about my video if uh, so that there will be no mistakes in my video okay so it is the all for the time being today see you in my next video bye bye